Okay, now we're doing the review for section 7.2, and we're going to need to use the law of sines, and you can find those on page 546. Now we're given that the two, two of the angles, one for angle A is 40 degrees, for angle B is 20 degrees, so we know the measure of the third angle, and that has to be 120 degrees, because the sum of the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. 40 plus 20 plus 120 is 180. We also know the length of the side opposite angle A is 2. So now we use the law of sines to find B and then C. So B over the sine of B, which is 20 degrees sine of 20 degrees, must equal uh, a, which is 2 over the sine of A, which is 40 degrees, sine of 40 degrees. Now if we multiply both sides by sine of 20 degrees, sine 20 degrees, these divide out and we get B equals 2 times the sine of 20 degrees over the sine of 40 degrees, and when we run that through the computer and round, I get uh, 1.06. Now, so there's B. Now let's do the same thing for C. So C over the sine of 120 degrees equals 2 over the sine of 40 degrees. So C equals multiplying both sides by the sine of 120 degrees. 2 sine of 120 degrees over the sine of 40 degrees. So C equals, and running that through the calculator, I get 2.69. So now we know the measures of all the angles. One angle was 120, the others were given 120 degrees. Uh, A is 2, B is 106, and C is 200 or 2.69, and we're done. Okay, now we're going to do question 2, and we have to find the measures of, let's see, this uh, angle, A is 110 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees, so then this angle must be 40 degrees, because the sum of the interior angles must add up, of a triangle, must add up to 180 degrees. Now, let's use the law of sines to find the length A and the length uh, B. So, A over the sine of 110 degrees equals 3 over the sine of 30 degrees. And so, multiplying both sides by the uh, sine of 110 degrees, we get A equals 3 times the sine of 110 degrees over the sine of 30 degrees. And when I calculate that, I get 5.64. Point six four rounded it to five point six four. So that's a by the way, this is the angle we solved for. Uh, now we know C is three. Yeah. Let's do the same thing for B. So we get B over the sine of forty degrees equals three over the sine 
of 30 degrees and multiplying both sides by sine of 40 degrees we get b equals 3 sine of 40 degrees over sine of 30 degrees and so when I evaluate that I get b equals approximately all these are approximations uh, 3.86 uh, eight, six. so there we've got our b we've got a we were given c and we've got the angles and we're done